Hi gamers, welcome to another Jogando Offline. It's Jogando Offline. It's, it's difficult to, <laughs> to say like that in English. <laughs> Hi gamers, welcome to Jogando Offline. And this is an interview with Eric Lang. Eric Lang, if you don't know, is a game designer of some famous games. Mm -hmm. Say it, Sergio. Like World of Warcraft, Chaos in the Old World. Um, game of Thrones, game of card, Thrones games, card game, Star Wars card game, Call of Cthulhu and card so game. So many, so many, so many. But please, Eric, uh, welcome here. Thank you. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want to know some something about your new projects, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, please tell me what is Chaos Ball. Chaos Ball is awesome. <laughs> you want more? I'm sure. I'm you sure. Want more. It, it, no, a, so a little bit more. Chaos Ball more. is uh, is a bloody fantasy sports game mm -hmm. uh, with ogres and vampires and Amazons and uh, where it's a it's a brand new sport uh, made up to be part rugby, part unreal tournament, part uh, gladiatorial combat where you uh, grab the ball and try to score points and stay alive as long as you can over four periods. Okay, right. uh, it resembled me like a, a blood bowl, but it's not like blood bowl. Uh, it's only in the sense that it is a fantasy sports game. Uh, in, in all other ways, it is a completely different game. Uh, it is more of a board game than it is, say, a miniature game. Uh, okay. Four players can play at the same time, and, uh, and it's, much, it's, it's much shorter, too. It's, also, it's, uh, it's less based on micromanaging uh, your, little, your figures. It's more based on being a little bit farther out, right? You are the coach, and you're always you, you're strategically maneuvering your team. Mm -hmm. So all of your teams, all teams have one ability that all of the characters share, and that ability you get to keep upgrading. So you're not keeping track of a ton of little guys, because they die. They just, they, see, <laughs> they look at that, look at that. They are the same, have the same skills. They have the same skills, exactly. But your team upgrades over time. So mm -hmm. they, like, every time you get something for your team, they all get it until they're dead. OK, but you don't have dice, OK? Uh, you play with cards. With cards, yeah. Tell me about the, the mechanics of the game, so a little bit. Sure, so the game is over, uh, played over four periods. Uh, each period, uh, there is a, uh, there's a really nice board that we would show if we okay, had it. OK, you, uh, you can show just like here. So under there. there oh. That's just a score sheet. Six. It's, it's huge. So, yeah, it's, it's a big, huge, man. big board. Look at that. So there's a, this is what we call the cross field. So each round, uh, each period, let's, uh, each period you guys are gonna set up your guys. My okay. ogres here, right? You have bruisers and you have runners. Mm. And uh, bruisers are there to, uh, to attack and tackle your opponents. Runners are there to try to grab the ball and score with it. Mm -hmm. um, every round you're gonna be activating a number, uh, one guy each turn, you're gonna either move to try to grab the ball and hold it. Uh, to try to steal the ball from somebody else, to try to tackle somebody or attack them. Okay. Um, and you use the same mechanic for everything that you do. Everything is automatic until you need to uh, have a contest with your opponent. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a hand of cards that you draw from a common deck in the middle of the table. Uh, the cards, uh, they're energy cards that give you bonuses to a contest. There are tactics cards that can uh, give you a really cool thing that you get to do once uh, once and then instead of activating a figure. And of course there are cheating cards that break a very specific <laughs> yeah, rule of the yeah. sport and are very powerful. A funnier part of the game, okay? <laughs> of course, but, uh, and, and you need to be able to cheat. The thing is that you have to save money to bribe the ref afterward, otherwise you're going to get <laughs> fouls for it. And whoever has the most fouls at the end of the game will lose a lot of points. Okay, okay. So <laughs> you can cheat as much as you want, just have the money to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> whenever you want to uh, have a contest with somebody, uh, I will play a card and you'll play a card at the same time. We'll add it to our team stats. We'll let handling, tackling, fighting, the, depending on what you're doing. So say mm -hmm. I'm trying to attack you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. the, I'm trying to attack the Amazon because she's a <laughs> bad person. <laughs> right? You play a one, okay. add it to your team's fighting score of two. I would play a two. Uh, I would. One. With the one, so you actually beat me, so you would do a damage to me equal to the okay, difference take between that, the two man, scores. Take that. The and, ties are the. And ties are broken by a die. There's a uh, there's a six sided die. That uh, the aggressor just has to roll. So say we both tied, I would 
I would roll and add that to my score. Okay. I beat you by two, you would take three damage. <laughs> and if you take as much damage as you have uh, health, you are dead. Otherwise, you just take these little skull tokens, you put them on there, and you say mm -hmm. that you, you're going to okay. keep but damage. How do you score in this game? So you score by grabbing the ball in the center. Mm -hmm. right? The ball is this, right. this. There is actually a miniature for it, <laughs> but it's, uh, we'll use that because it's, it's just awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Very awesome. <laughs> if, you, you, if you have the ball on top of one of these scoring mounds in the middle, mm -hmm. every round, uh, you're going to score points based on whatever period it is. So if it's mm -hmm. period one, you'll score one point. And if it gets to my turn again, I score another point. Okay. So you have to, you have you to have stop to me. Con control the area in the, sco uh, the scoring con uh, area, yep. and the other guy has to move you out. Right, has to move you out, kill you, steal it, etc., okay. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Or, now, at the, um, there's also one major scoring mound yeah. at the, on the opposite side of each team's oh, starting okay. scrimmage. It's you get five points for that, always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, Very difficult to get there. Exactly. And once anybody's played uh, nine cards, the round period is over. They sound the whistle, it uh -huh. is over. Next and then everybody who's, uh, whose runners are standing on any of those scoring zones, even if they don't have the ball, score. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Uh, and you also score points for killing each other. So if I kill, if you kill my guy, you take me as a trophy. And at the end, half time, end of period two, and at the end of period four, whoever has the most kills is going to score a whole bunch of points, etc. <laughs> and whoever has the most fouls from cheating is going to lose a whole bunch of points. Okay, very interesting. Uh, and when it is, this game is going to be released? Do you have a, a, a the date already? The date? Yeah, we, so we just did a, a huge Kickstarter for it, that mm -hmm. Cool Mini or Not. Uh, it finished in the end of July, I think. Okay. And uh, we're going to be shipping in February. Good. So uh, the, the core set and 18 teams, which we unlocked uh, for Kickstarter. Okay, wow. very good. Big game. Let's talk about the other projects. Right. We got a few. What you are doing here in Brazil, okay? <laughs> well, what I'm doing here in Brazil is top secret. So I'm working on two, <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on two brand new games uh, with my producer who is off camera. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, two big epic board games that are going to be like this in size. Um, nice. They won't be ready for a long time, though. Uh, these things take a, they yeah, take many we months. Know, we know. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, but uh, about the product, you can talk to us. Uh, I know it's uh, Generation Hex. Hex. Generation is, Hex. Is the name? Yeah, Generation Hex is based off of a comic called Finding Gossamer uh, by a, a studio called Third World Studios. Uh, it's a it's a cute as a button little comic with like uh, about a little uh, boy with autism who finds out. Uh, who's really good at math and finds out he can do magic with it. Okay. Um, and so the game is about you are playing uh, wizards in that... Uh, you can show something about the game? I will try. I know it's in prototype. This is, yeah, un prototipo. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> uh, so um, you have these little boards. Everybody's going to have their own little boards. They're, uh, they're action boards. that are. Uh, what you're trying to do is you're trying to complete assignments, which are going to be cards in the middle. Uh, that are going to be worth pro, uh, points for you. And you have to gather willpower or crystals in order to cast spells or uh, complete items. Okay. And the cool thing about the game is that there are tiles that come up in the middle that you use to complete your board. And these are the actions that you get to take. And as you chain them together, you see these, they have these little mm -hmm. connectors on them. When you take an action, you get that action plus anything that it's chained next to. Yeah. So you get so you build up a little engine <laughs> of actions that uh, in order to generate lots of will and power, and then you get these cards that give you prestige, and they also combo with each other. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, so it's a, like a thirty-minute game, plays up to four players. Um, good, good. I think it's uh, w we really like it. <laughs> I'm very interested in playing. Uh, <laughs> we try later. Absolutely. <laughs>